One of the most frequent graphic effects that you'll see in web pages is some sort of rollover image, often done to implement a rollover button. And in this sample, I'm going to show you how to create a very basic rollover button. It takes two images, mybutton1.gif and mybutton2.gif. And one of these is displayed when the mouse pointer hovers over the image area, and the other is displayed when the mouse pointer leaves the image area. And if you look in rollover.html, you'll see that these are the functions that handle the image swapping. So the basic image swapping is done just as in the previous samples, where I swapped one image for another to create an animation. Now, these two functions need to be, in effect, wired up to the on mouse over and on mouse out events. And you can see that I've done that in the HTML tag down here for the image, the IMG tag. And I've also put that tag inside an ahref tag that implements a link to take somebody to a website when the button is clicked. So let's look at this page. Here's the page loaded into my web browser. I hover my mouse pointer over it, and it swaps the image. And because it's got a link to a web page, I can also click the button. When I click the button, it loads up the linked web page. So the button has two rollover states, if you like, one of which is displayed normally, and one of which is displayed when the mouse hovers over it. But you can actually get it a bit more dramatic than that by creating an animated state. So let's look how to do that. So here in rollover2.html, you can see that now my image tag has the on mouse over event animated by calling the animate function. And the animate function is up here. And that should look familiar if you've looked at my previous tutorial where I explained how to animate simple images. Well, that's all I do here. When the mouse passes over the button, I call this function to animate the image. Let's look at the result. Rollover2.html. Here is my simple, it's an image, but it could be a button or whatever you want. Uh, it's a simple rollover that displays the graphic, hello world. And when I hover my mouse over it, it becomes animated. Once again, so it just calls the animate function to animate the button. As before, I've linked this to a web page, so I can click it, and it takes me to the web page. Now, if you had a page where you wanted lots of different links and buttons to load up the links, that is, different pages that are loaded when you click different buttons, well, the page can soon become quite cluttered with lots of buttons. And one way around this is instead of using buttons, to create a menu bar. You can think of a menu bar, in some senses, as a sort of series of buttons. And you can create them as rollovers with no visible joins. Most special graphics programs, such as Photoshop or Fireworks, can help you to create seamless menus in which you mark the areas of an image and then slice the image into separate parts, one for each marked area. The images can then be reassembled by placing them in adjoining cells of a table or on CSS layers. And once again, your graphics program will probably help you to do this. But there's one complication when working with multiple rollover images. In order to switch the correct image for each slice of the menu, the JavaScript function needs to know which specific image is responding to the mouse event. One way of solving that problem would be to write separate JavaScript functions for each image slice. But that would end up with a great deal of code duplication. You'd be writing the same JavaScript time after time. So the solution I've come up with is to use a single JavaScript function called swap image, which takes two arguments, img and element name. And here, element name is the string that identifies a specific image area given by the img tags ID, for example, button three or button four. And the IMG is the image which is to be swapped into the image area. Now, in order for this to work with multiple image areas, each IMG tag needs to have a unique ID, and that's what I've 
done in the tags for the various IMGs down here. There's button 1, button 2, button 3, button 4. And that must be passed, that string identifier, as the second argument, that is element name, to swap image. And you can see that's what I've done for each of these IMGs down here. On mouse over passes first the graphic and second the tag, the name that identifies the particular IMG that I'm working with. Now you'll also notice that the same method, swap image, is associated both with the mouse over and on mouse out events. So all that changes is the specific image that's passed as the first argument, which is to be swapped in. Now take a look at that in a web browser. So here's my menu. It's just four different images, each of which changes when I hover my mouse over it, and each of which can, in principle, as long as I have the correct link in my HTML, take me to a different web page. That's when I click the first one, when I click the second one, it takes me a different location. So, very simply, that is how I've created a menu using a simple single function to swap the images in and out for each of the slices, the graphics, independent bits of the complete menu.